What you gonna do, brother, when Hulkamania runs wild on you? Again with WWE Main Event Series 148, Hulk Hogan. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another WWE main event unboxing and review and today on the channel we got series 148 with Hulk Hogan but for all your Hulk Hogan needs and a whole lot more make sure you hit up ringside collectibles use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% gotta get a deal out there and Hulk Hogan guess what no stranger to the Mattel line we're currently in the 40th anniversary of Hulkamania and I even found this Hulkamania shirt I got back for 99 cents like 10 years ago in my closet I said I'm gonna wear this I'm gonna wear it for this Hulk Hogan unboxing you know I'm a little warrior but Hulk Hogan I do like more in my later stage of life than I did when I was a kid I don't know if it's nostalgia creeping on me or what, uh, but the Hulkster running wild this year, the 40th anniversary of Hulkamania, and with that comes figure after 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 figure, and then I think after figure after that. But 40 years of Hulkamania, probably 40 years of Hulkamania releases this year, and maybe 40 figures when it's all said and done. And if, at the end of the year, we'll do a little countdown of those figures, so stay tuned for that. But we're back again to the main event, the former Basics line, with Hulk Hogan in a merch shirt, and I had to phone a friend on this one, had to page Freedom Labs, had to reach out to old D Freedom from the major pod group over there. I said, what's up, brother? I had to do it in Hulk Hogan's voice. I said, what's going on with this Hulk Hogan figure? What's up with this shirt? Where did this come from? And he got back to me and said, this is a 2014 merch shirt from the Hulkster way back when. So about 10 years ago at this time of video. Uh, so a little bit of amalgamation right here is he got a younger version of Hogan with a more current... Uh, shirt on it so not a must-have not an iconic one it's just one of those releases that kind of comes and goes is what this one will be but it's interesting looking it's Hulk Hogan it's 40 years of Hulkamania I guess we'll let it slide I don't think we have a choice at this point but one thing we do have a choice in is how we're going to do this unboxing and of course we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel we're going to take a look at the packaging we're going to talk about it we're going to unbox it we're going to talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there we're going to make quick work of this Hulkster here Hogan, man, that hot dog tan looking good right on the forehead up there. Uh, that bright yellow of blonde hair really popping against that hot dog tan. I got a little of that hot dog tan going on. It is Jeep season after all. I got the WWE Main Event logo going on. Hulk Hogan. Series 148, the Hulkster in the package, of course. Series 148, an interesting series as we do get John Cena. We also got a translucent version of Cena. Got to get that one for sure. Carmelo Hayes, the rowdy one, Rowdy Roddy Piper. That's a definite pickup for me. And then we got Caden Carter, first time in the line. I have to pick that one up as well, so hopefully I can find those sooner rather than later. Jibber Jabber UPCs on the bottom. Let's see what it says about the Hulkster. Signature move, that dreaded leg drop. Watch out for it. And the Hulkster, guess what? He's a powerhouse. Nobody's, nobody's shocked on that one there. We get the Hulkster out. Bam, some spin on it. Plastic Hulk Hogan prison right there. We're going to pop him out. Bam. See you later. Goodbye. We got the Hulkster out of the package. And I got to say, uh, the basic, a.k.a. main event figures for Hulk Hogan are usually pretty good. So we do get a little extra articulation with the Hulkster that we don't get with others. Not sure how that feels. It feels like they're playing favorites over there. Mattel, what's going on with that? You playing favorites on the Hulkster? What are we doing here? But we got the Hulkster out of the package. He's full of python power and full of cocaine. Yes, cocaine. Look at those eyes. He's just all ready to go. He's He's got Hulkamania pulsing through his veins and into the pythons, I guess, as well. He's got that wild Hulkster head, though. I love that wild Hulkster head. He's shining with those teeth as well. Got the big beard going on, or I guess big mustache, like a young goose gossage, of course. Got the baldness on top, of course, male pattern baldness. It's a dangerous thing for many Americans, of course, and I guess people across the world, not just Americans. There's people, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, other parts of the world, there are bald people. Yes, it's true. I have done some research. I've checked it a few times. Uh, but the Hulkster representing the baldness there. No baldness here. No baldness going on over here. So I got one up on you, the Hulkster right there. Looking good in the long hair, though, there. And he's playing those Hogan hits. Big old eyes, big old mouth and teeth, two ears and nose. It's human Hulk Hogan. It's not that alien version 
that we see sneak up on us from time to time. Full of Python power in the shirt, the red against the yellow, the red and yellow, we know about it with the Hulkster. Got the tears on the back of the shirt, of course, that we know. Got the white wrist tape going on. He's got two gripping hands, no fists for the Hulkster here. This is one where you kind of display him, I think, with some of those Mattel dumbbells or the Mattel bar with the weights on it. He could be pumping some serious iron, you know. I think that's how I might display him. I'll go uh, dive one of those out of my accessory bin. Have him displayed uh, pumping some iron or something like that. Getting the old Python power going, of course. Bottom half on this one, we've seen it before. It's a little bit old hat, a little bit re-release. Really, this whole thing is for the most part. Uh, but we do get the red knee pads, the yellow boots going on. Of course, articulation, arms go all the way around. Get the bicep cut on this one. Single jointed pinned elbows. Hands back and forth, side to side. Hands removable. So if you got other Hogan's, like an Ultimate Hulk Hogan, grab some of those extra hands. You can move around if you want to. Head back, forth, side to side, up and down. Of course, head should be removable, and it is removable. So that's one of the cool things here. If you want to take this head on another Hulk Hogan figure, you can do that as well. He's got the waist articulation. Those big old Hulkster splits. Oh, my gosh. Legs do go up. You can do that big boot if you need to. Single jointed knees, extremely tight in the knee department. We know how these basics, a.k.a. main event figures, do go. Boot cut on there, and then you get the ankles, the up and down. I really wish they would bring that back uh, in the modern main event ones for all the other characters. It would be really nice if they do that. But he has got that articulation. A little extra articulation pizzazz with the Hulkster right here. Now, does he fit on a Mattel ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save 10%. What do you know? Fitting on the stand right there. Ready to go. Ready to party. That's what the Hulkster's ready to do. You can tell it in his eyes. You can see it in his eyes. He's ready to party. There's no doubt. Last Hulkster we unboxed on the channel here, we had this one. Is this the same kind of shirt going on? It sure seems to be. Yep, it's just painted differently. This was the Champions Edition, that black kind of carding. We're seeing that at grocery stores. We're seeing it at Kohl's. Uh, kind of off the beaten path stores. We're seeing that Champions line. And this is that Hulkster from that one there. So similar but different is what we got. And I guess you could do a head scan. Head, head scan? How about a head swap? You could do a head swap between these two if you really wanted to as well along the way. You can choose your own Hulk Hogan adventure for his 40th anniversary. And that's what he would like. He would like you to choose your own Hulk Hogan adventure. He'd also like you to buy his beer, I think, is what he'd like to do. I see he's promoting that all over the place as well. Maybe I'll see the Hulkster on one of those stops along the way. It'd be great. It would be nice to meet up with the Hulkster. And we can have a lot of conversations about WrestleMania 6 and that tough night for him. We can just recap that tough loss right to his face. I can't wait. Hopefully that gets to happen. Stay tuned to the channel as we do know. But for all things considered, it's the Hulkster. It's Python Power. It's a main event figure as we keep doling out the Hulksters for 2024 for the 40th anniversary of Hulkamania. But what's your thoughts on this one? A pickup, a pass, a long game, the dreaded no game over Hulk Hogan. I think a lot of people are, but I say it's the 40th anniversary. They're in this deep. Let's just keep it going. Let's keep cranking it out. Let's get it over with. Let's get it all out of our system here in 2024. That's what I'm saying right here. So we'll see what happens in the back half of 2024. And we should see more of that at San Diego Comic-Con here in a couple of weeks. So there it is, Hulkster. Let me know once again your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bells. We got videos every single day and then some. We got even more content for you, of course, over on Patreon. Patreon, best way to support the channel. You know, support the channel, ProSantees.com, search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media, Sir Paul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Hulkamania, 40 years, what you gonna do, brother?